Hi everyone, uh, welcome to another drink review. So today is a bit different. I'm in my car, but I'm gonna try it out anyway. Yeah? Uh, so today we're gonna review something called uh, Monster Energy Ultra, right? I'm trying this car review thing because um, well the space in my house is getting less and less because my brother-in-law moved in and also my cousin, so they took all the rooms. So yeah, I'm trying a car review because I see a lot of you guys do car reviews. So yeah, so today we have this thing called Monster Energy Ultra. So um, just a quick fact about the Monster Energy one, right? Uh, so I've been playing Death Stranding recently, so this is a video game. Uh, and I see a lot of Monster Energy drinks, so I was like, mm, I've never done a review of Monster Energy. So I then found this Ultra one, which is even more expensive. So it's 10, 10 ringgit, which is about, I guess, 3, U uh, 3 Aussie dollars and 250 USD. Quite expensive, yeah. Monster Energy Ultra. I know how, how Monster Energy tastes like, but I'm just trying out how this Ultra is. So apparently it is really, really unleash the Ultra Beast. Yeah. So yeah, so let's go ahead and try it. So, this one. Okay. Satisfying sound. Glass. I, I wonder what color it is though. It is, well, it is 100 plus-ish. It's very, very white. It's odd. Oh, before that, sorry. Um, It came with this thing, which is like... Where the hell's thing? Yeah, it came with a energy drink saver. Really, it came with an energy drink saver, so... It's this thing, um, Spy Monster Energy. So what you do is, you put it on top of a Monster Energy, and then you get to save it. Quite cool, huh? So you don't have to drink it immediately, see? Yep. So you can just save it and then drink it later. Drink it like a, like a bottle, see? Like you can do it... Actually, most cans actually work with this. It's quite cool. It's Monster Energy Saver thing. Yeah. Um, now back at the review, sorry. Alright, back at the review, so the taste. The taste is a little bit different. It doesn't have that strong monster energy taste. It actually tastes like, um, like one of those isotonic drinks. I expected a better taste from Monster though, but this tastes like isotonic drink. Um, it still has that, um, what's the thing called Torina flavor? You know how Monster Energy has that Torina flavor, but it's actually less. This is actually quite nice. This actually got mild Monster Energy kind of thing. So yeah. This is why it's quite mild and it's more isotonic than anything else. I don't wonder if there's any isotonic in it. No, it doesn't, it doesn't write any isotonic. Nothing like that. It doesn't even say what flavor it is. It's Parisa's, uh, Parisa's Mulu Jadi, means it's naturally flavoured, so I don't know what that means. So yeah, nothing. Really nothing about the flavour or anything. It's Torina plus vitamin B. Maybe that's what vitamin B tastes like. Like isotonic-ish? I can go on Google it, I'll put it in the description, yeah guys? But overall, it's so much milder. I'm reviewing this at night in anticipation that I won't sleep, but it's quite a mild monster energy, so meh. Taste-wise, I think more normal Monster Energy is nicer. So, um, is it worth it? I don't think so. For 10 ringgit, this is actually super expensive, man. I don't know if I need a vitamin B, right? But this is super expensive. I wouldn't buy it. So, I recommend you guys sticking to the normal Monster rather than this one. Take the green one, yeah? So, that's it, guys. Well, cheers.